Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a hybrid battery. Um, so let me tell you a little background on my case and how I figured all this out. Uh, I have a 2007 Toyota Camry Hybrid and I left it parked for about three weeks without using it. It has 152,000 miles. When I turned it on it showed me the check VCS system error and it would show it for a couple seconds and then it would show me the check hybrid system error and then it would go back and forth and uh, all the check engine and all these yellow buttons were all over the place and it scared me because um, I know that that's a big deal to fix and or replace the hybrid battery. Um, <clears throat> your case could be different. It could just show the check hybrid system. It could show them both. If it only says check VCS system or VSC system, I would um, try Googling. I know that sometimes that's like a loose gas cap or it could be a, a bad temperature or a pump or something like that. So it might not be related to your hybrid system. If it shows them both the check VSC and the check hybrid, then this video is for you. Or if it just shows you the check hybrid system, um, keep going. This is what you're going to need to do. So if you call Toyota or a garage that works on hybrids, they're going to charge you upwards of $4,000. Super scary, super expensive. So um, when this happened, I flipped out, was scared. Um, I thought I needed to replace the battery. There are people on eBay that will replace the battery for a lot cheaper, especially live in California. You can usually find it for $1,000. Um, if you live anywhere else in the country, then you'll need to find someone that will come to your location. And they, I think the cheapest I found on eBay was about 1300 so it is a lot cheaper than going directly to Toyota. Um, but this video is even better because it cost me 40 bucks to fix it. So let me show you what I did and how to fix it. So the first thing you need to do is remove the hybrid battery from your car. This is what it looks like for a Prius. Um, this procedure works for a Camry, a Prius, a Nissan Altima, a Lexus hybrid, and I think the principle is the same for any other hybrid vehicle. Um, so you need to remove the hybrid battery from the car. I'll post a video, the link to a video on how to do that in the comments, because there's no sense in me wasting my time when there are other people who have done a much better job at those videos. Um, once you have pulled the battery from your car, <clears throat> It's going to have a big metal plate over the top of it. You need to remove that by loosening these bolts along here and in the back and kind of moving um, the different devices out of the way. Um, when you first look at it, it's going to have these orange plastic pieces are going to be attached to these bolts. And what you'll want to do is remove each one of those nuts and also these bus bars. And let me tell you why. They get corroded over time. My vehicle is 10 years old and they end up looking like this. So what you need to do is pull off each one of these bus bars and also the nuts and soak them in vinegar. The vinegar eats away all this corrosion that's left and you also want to get a wire brush and scrape them off after you've done that. What I did and what I recommend is pull them all off, put them in like a dish and put vinegar in it, any kind, just regular white vinegar from the grocery store. Um, leave it for a couple hours. What I did is I did this in the afternoon, and then before I went to bed, I kind of mixed things up, shook it a little bit, drained off the vinegar, put fresh vinegar, left it overnight. In the morning, I did the same thing, and it was ready to go in the afternoon. And like I said, you want to get a wire brush. Once you're done and scrape this off, um, some people recommend putting baking soda. If you remember from when you were a kid and you did a volcano or filled up a balloon, um, baking soda and vinegar are reactive to each other. I don't know if it's necessary to do the baking soda. Some people say it helps. I didn't really notice any difference, so I think you're fine with just vinegar. Like I said, change the vinegar a couple, a couple times so it'll get them clean and then get a wire brush and scrape these off. And then uh, you're going to want to put them back and put everything back together the way it was. <clears throat> it's pretty simple. And the next thing that you want to do, you want to do this as soon as you remove them and put them in vinegar, you're going to want to test each 
cell or module on a Camry, I believe this is a picture of a Camry battery, I think there are 34 of these and each one of them has an individual charge and an individual voltage. So the battery is this and on one side is a positive, the other side is a negative, so you want to get a voltmeter or a multimeter and like there is in this see in this picture on one side you're going to do the positive on the other side then negative but you need to make sure that you don't just go straight in a row because this is a positive this is a negative and a positive and negative so they rotate like this um, so make sure you're testing the right end the reason why you do this is because over time the way that these batteries work and pretty much any nickel metal hydride battery works is <clears throat> with the traction system if you've looked on your screen the way it charges so when you start up um, it'll charge the battery then when you don't need it it'll drain the battery if you're going slow enough and then it will charge it and drain it charge and drain it but if you notice it never goes completely full and it never goes completely empty the traction system will kick in when it's getting low and it will turn off when it's getting high so what happens when you do that I'm just breaking this down into simple terms I know there's way more scientific reasoning to this but basically what happens is when they don't go from cl completely full to completely empty with the charge um, they start to crystallize which means that the liquid inside there gets hard and when it turns hard it doesn't it's not a liquid anymore so it doesn't hold as much of power which decreases the voltage which makes it not have the full voltage that it needs which throws those errors which scares you so what you want to do is get a multimeter and check each one of these individual cells one by one do it a couple times and make sure you don't mess up they should all be around seven and a half and they can be as high as eight they can be as low as seven anything below seven needs to be replaced uh, the reason I tell you this from experience because what I did first when I got all these errors when I was scared and I did some research what I found there was some guy that all he did was open it up pull these off clean them put them back on voila everything works so I thought great that's what I'll do because they were corroded um, I did that I did test them but when I tested each one of these modules there was one that said six volts but I figured, hey, it's still got a charge, it's not showing zero, so that means it has a charge, that means it's fine, I don't need to worry. That's incorrect. Anything below seven needs to be replaced. So they're pretty easy to replace. This is what the, you can see it here as well, this is what it looks like. When you're testing them, you don't need to pull them out, you just need to test one end and the other, you can leave them in place. If you find one that is low, um, you can get on eBay and just do a search for hybrid battery cell, um, find one that works for your car. They might be different listing for different cars, but basically it, unless you have the first generation Prius, which is the very first one, like 2003, um, then you need an older battery. It's like a generation one or two is what they call them. And that's for the old Prius. If you have anything newer, like a second generation Prius or a Camry or a Lexus or anything that's not the original Prius, then it's all the same. Um, I believe they call them generation three. And uh, it might even be generation two. I'm not a, a technician, so I can't verify. But um, just make sure that when you buy the one it says it will fit the car that you have but basically they're all the same unless you have the first generation Prius so you're gonna pull that out you can also find a video on how to do that in the video in the descriptions below you're gonna pull out each one of these um, you have to unloosen it one end you can see that this is loosed so even like on my case I think this is the one that was bad so I had to unbolt all of these and loosen them in order to slide this one out you slide the new one in um, put on these bus bars back on um, just screw everything back on put this plastic back on put the cover on replace everything exactly how it should be, reinstall the battery back in your car, and you're done. Everything should be working after that. Um, I did do this, and when I turned on the car, it still showed check hybrid system. I was distraught, thought the world was going to end because I did all that work. Seriously, this took me a month to figure all this out and get the parts and do everything. Um, 
but after just turning the car off and on, driving a little bit, the errors are gone. It's worked completely fine, just like it should. So I know that it does work. Um, so let me do a quick review in case I missed anything, or so you don't have to rewatch the video. If you get the Czech VCS and the Czech Hybrid, or maybe you just get the hi Czech Hybrid system, um, don't call a technician. Don't get on eBay and spend a thousand three hundred dollars. Um, just do it yourself. There is high voltage, like they'll tell you in the videos. You do need to be careful. Um, I just know basic mechanic and basic skills, and I was able to do that. You don't have to be super smart. Um, I think it's fair to say that you don't even have to be a mechanic to do it, because really all you're doing is following a video and removing bolts and checking voltage. Um, remove the battery. Remove the cover. This is going to be right here. It's going to be a tin cover. Um, as you can see, it looks like this. This is what it looks like when it's all empty. You're going to want to unscrew all these nuts and then remove these bus bars and soak them in vinegar. This is what they look like before, or even worse. They look like this after. Throw them in vinegar. Right away, pull out a voltmeter, multimeter. Check the voltage on each side. Remember that they rotate. If you find anything that's below 7 volts, get on eBay even Amazon if you want it quicker and get a new module they're around 30 bucks 30 to 40 make sure that you get the generation 3 unless you have the first edition of the Prius the, the way to differentiate is that they look like this they have three plastic ones that's what you need if you see just one plastic here and one plastic here then that means it's the first generation they're a lot cheaper that's why they're like 20 bucks the the Generation 3, the ones that we need, if you have a 2007 Camry or above or a Lexus or I think from like a 2005 or 2006 Prius and above, you need the ones that look like this. Um, you'll just unbolt everything, slide this out, slide your new one in, test it, make sure everything's good, put the bolts back on, reinstall the battery, and you're done. Like I said, you might get an error. You might need to turn it off and on. Um, but that will solve it. If anything, if you still get the check hybrid or anything heavier, anything worse than that, then it could be that you have like a bad inverter. There's a bad uh, cooling pump. There's something more wrong with your car. But do know that if you do all this, and all the volts, all of these tell you seven and a half, then it's not your battery. Don't let anyone tell you that you need to do battery. There could be something over here that's gone bad, but the cells and the battery and all that are fine if you follow this video. Um, thanks a lot. I hope this works for you. Like I said, it saved me a lot of money by figuring out how to do this. I did a lot of research, finding different videos, trying different things, and I know that this procedure works. So good luck to you, and thank you.